Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am coming on right now to share this new project I just finished. Well, no, let me take that back. I didn't just finish it. I actually finished it last night, but when it, I finished, it was so late. I was tired, wasn't in the mood to do anything else except for go to sleep. So I'm doing the video today for it. So for this one, it's a very simple journal. It's more for writing, uh, more for memory keeping, more for like, almost like a glue book, um, but n still a junk journal. Uh, when we go through it, I'll show you what I mean. Um, this one, I went old school a little bit. Um, the papers that I used were, far, uh, were from a paper pack that I got at Michael's, I don't know, a month or so ago when they are having that um, hot buy sale on paper pads. Um, so that's where I got the papers for it. But then I also use the papers throughout, just like I used to way back when. So um, it's different, but it's something I've done in the past, just not really recently. So the front of it, um, I actually also did put some metal corners on it because when you back two pieces of cardstock together, the tip, or like not the tip, but the point is very sharp. So I, I added the corners just to make it not so dangerous, I guess. And then also I put some lace on the spine. I have just a little uh, blue ribbon closure but then also if you can see the stitching I use throughout is also blue so I thought that was kind of cool because I there's like this bluish color here so then I tried to match the blue thread and then I found this in my stash so I kind of like tied it all together then these um they're like vocabulary cards I actually, they came with a kit from TLC Creates Vintage that I got a while back. And it's pretty cool because on um, a full sheet of paper, there's all these words. And so you cut them out and um, they have like a little number and then the word there. But it's all geared towards like flowers and gardening, you know, like that kind of stuff. So I use this on the front for obvious reasons. Flowers see them <laughs> and then I also included them in some of the pockets throughout so this journal like I said in the beginning it's very plain almost strictly for adding pictures adding you know um, memorabilia adding journaling um, kind of like to take on the go so it's not embellished like I would normally embellish um, a junk journal so there's a lot of beautiful pages um, perfect that you know you could put a picture here and then this could be you know the papers are your um, like background mats so this is the kind of journal I had in mind more as a scrapbook or writing journal so we do have lots of blank pages to do so but I also do have some pockets throughout like I said so here's another one of the uh, I don't know if they're called maybe flashcards but they're like word flashcards. I don't know what they are. Um, and then also from the paper pad, you know how all paper pads come with a little cutouts, the tags, uh, journaling cards. So I use those throughout here too. So I basically just inked around the edges. The bank, the banks, <laughs> the backs are blank. So you can write here or you can put pictures on here. Or you could also use them, you know, glue down these two sides and you can use it as a tuck spot. So those are always ideas with ephemera that I put in. And then all the cutoffs from all the paper that I cut down, of course, you know, you can't throw those away. So what do you do? You turn them into little journaling cards. So that goes back in there. And so we have coffee dyed paper. Um, we have some of the smaller paper throughout. And then this here... This is actually a printed paper. Um, the front side is this kind of like blue, and I don't know if it'll show up on camera. The back side is like a beige-ish yellow. These papers, I think they were... I don't know if they were freebies, but they're from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. No, 
ephemeras, vintage garden. Um, there were five, basically it looks like five coffee dyed pages, except they're all colored. So there is a coffee dyed color. I think there's a yellow, pink, green, and a blue. Um, and then in it, I don't know if you can see here, there looks like coffee stains of like a, a glass that was laid down. So I thought that was kind of cool because of the colors um, that they were, they really matched with the kit. Uh, not the kit, the papers I was using. So I have those in there too. So here's another one of those cards and then just a little journaling card here. I sewed around this because the back obviously of the paper is um, not coffee dyed. So I just ended up just sewing around the whole thing. That way it gives it a little bit of color. So it's not so plain. Coffee dyed paper. I love this one. The little dots on it. Another little piece of paper. And I love this print here. I really like that a lot. And then I made a little pocket here with just some places for extra journaling. And of course, you know, you can write here, you can put pictures, all these fun ideas that you can do. And then here's a little tuck spot. Here's a bigger card that I made. And then this is one of the cards from the kit. Now, I keep saying the kit because I'm so used to kits from the paper pad. And I love the little butter butterflies. You can see that on that one. Um, see, so all this beautiful paper here is perfect for scrapbooking, memory keeping, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And then little belly bands. So we have another one of the words blossom and then a long tag and then that just slides right in there and this is also belly bands are a perfect place to put um show tickets because you know sometimes the show tickets um are like longer so belly bands are always a good place for that here is the center and i like this as a center because it's kind of like a whole scene and then you can put pictures here if you want or again you can write and then here's the other side of with a belly band and a little another word card. And then some more little pages. Not little pages, little little cards. And the nice thing about these pockets too is that since it is made out of that thicker um, scrapbooking paper, um, you can put more in it and it's not so delicate as in sometimes when you use like um, like printed pages for pockets or coffee dye paper sometimes it's not as thick as um, this is look at the little bunny very cute so it basically repeats itself um, through the back half and you kind of get the gist of this. But it's the nice size, the travel notebook size, so it will fit nicely to go. Um, this one says, hello. I don't want to take it off because there's such a glare. But see, it has a little bunny on it, which is really cute. Oh, it's not too bad of a glare. Well, kind of. Um, what was I saying? I forget. Oh, it's a good size. Um, that's what I was talking about. It was a good size to put in a bag, put in a suitcase, you know, leave it by your bedside, leave it by your TV, anything like that. And it's just like a, a fun little place to jot down memories, you know, write poems, write stories, um, use it as a little scrapbook, you know, put little pictures in it, anything. So I, I wanted to go back and um, do something that wasn't so embellished, just to keep it simpler so that when you do add things to it, 
it doesn't take away from what you're actually putting in. Because I like to do both. I like to do ones that are really embellished, and then I like to do really basic ones. But r recently, I have to get my words together before I open my mouth, <laughs> I have been um, writing again. Um, and so when I get into those moods of like writing my stories and things like that, it takes me back to the junk journals when I first started, which were very... And not really when I first started, maybe after I started, but there was a time period where the journals were really like strictly for like writing and um, memory keeping, stories, uh, poems, things like that. And then I went to the other extreme and embellished every single page that I could. So when I write and when I get into like my moods where I do write stories, I realize that when I do my junk journals, it kind of goes back to those days where I'm making journals more for writing and memory keeping. So I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know why my brain works that way, but um, <laughs> it does. So, and I am in this mood right now. So possibly the next couple of journals might be just like this. They're going to be more, um, I won't say writer friendly if that makes sense so this one is for sale um in my etsy i will leave all the information in the description box below if you are interested um but if not and you just came to watch what i created thank you for that too so i hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this video and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye